So now our template is already looking very good. Now let's go ahead and see what else we can do in here. So what, what if we want to add another color, another neon here that has a different color? You also have that option. So you can also add a different neon in here with a different, a different color. And you have the option to add one additional color in here. So to do that, you're going to simply tick this in here, like that. And as you can see, right now it is in draft mode once again, in the draft quality in here. And to update this text, this is the color 02. So all we need to do is go, we need to go to type text color 02, select this and see, and see what we can enter in here. So let's just type in tubes, for instance, for neon tubes or something like that. So uh, now if we untick this, we can see how that would automatically update, update in there. And if you go to elementary color 02 in here and put this in, into preview, or for render, we can see how that would look right over here. So as you can see, you immediately have a different neon in here with that text. Now, right now, this is on top of the other one. And to move that, you can go to scene setup and select the neon design group and simply move it where you think it would be good. So I'm going to move it a little bit down and a little bit left. Press OK. And there we have it. Now to change the color, you can do this just like we did before and simply simply change the neon glass color in here. And let's make it maybe this pink color. Pink purple color and press OK. And there you have it. That's how that's how it works. And of course, you can also make sure that you have the correct material selected in here from the background so that the reflections act well. So if we select the stone wall bricks in here, press OK. And you can see now that the reflections are quite well on the wall. So that's how you would add another, another neon tube with different colors. And of course, if we go to scene setup, you can also add the different connections in here for this one. So if we go to Neon Tube Connections, we can add the different modules in here, the different connections, and we can duplicate just by holding Control D on your keyboard. And we can place that wherever we want. And as you can see, we have done some connections. And if we press OK, you can see how that updates even on this one. So that's how that would work with a different color. And now for now, I'm going to hide this since I just want this, this color in the middle in here. And we're going to stop this video for now. But in the next video, we will see how we can even use images to, to customize our to, to, to do our neon designs, so we, how we can use image to get our neon design from instead of text.